What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another comic book video. Today I'm going to be going through some comics that I do have to sell. They're all holographic or foil covers or just special comics that are worth more than my typical uh, $1 to $2 comics that I have been selling for the most part. A few of these are $5, some of them are $10 to $15, so around that price range, but it is some um, X-Men, uh, Spider-Man, and a whole bunch of others, mostly foil and holographic covers as well. So let's just get straight into this. And again, these are ones that I have to sell. Some of these I already have in my personal collection. They're just doubles that I do have now to sell. Um, and eventually I will show you guys what is in my personal collection because there's a lot more than what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. This is just from some of the lots that I've picked up, some of the doubles that I have found, and I've decided to finally go ahead and sell them. So first we have Web of Spider-Man issue 90. I absolutely love this. I have a complete set of this in my personal collection. I think for the ones that I have to sell, I'm only missing the... Uh, black cover. I can't remember which one it is. Uh, the Spectacular Spider-Man 189. Absolutely love them. They just, to me, look amazing. Spider-Man 26. And then we have another issue, 90. This one's kind of gold compared to the last one, but... And then another blue... Uh, 189 Spectacular Spider-Man. So the one I'm missing is the black one. I think it's the first appearance of a Spider-Man 2099, uh, which I do have in my personal collection. It's the first appearance of them anyways. Um, this one here is the Infinity Crusade issue one, a nice gold foil. Absolutely love that. Then we have the X-Factor Issue 10, this is the 25th Anniversary Border comics that I'm actually on the hunt for. I'm going to be trying to, in the next couple of years, find them and add them to my collection. I've already went through my collection and seen which ones I have and wrote them down. And now I know which ones I need. I went through the list and found them. So I do have this one here and I do have another one as well. So those, again, hopefully, I know some of them for the Border ones... They're really hard to find, especially Care Bears and ones like that that were more tailored towards kids. Some of them are extremely expensive and they're in rough condition. So those ones that are expensive are probably going to be one of the last ones that I purchased for myself. But we will see what we do find. Next is Guardians of the Galaxy issue 25. I actually already sold this one, but I'm just making the video before I go and ship it. This one did sell for $10. It's a nice foil cover. I almost have a complete run of the Guardians of the Galaxy, so this one here was for my personal collection because I did keep an extra copy of 25 for like my foil comics, but I decided to go ahead and sell it since I do have an almost complete run. Next, we do have a Turok uh, Dinosaur Hunter Yearbook Issue 1. I think this one I have listed for about $5. And then we also have another Turok uh, Son of Stone Issue 1. Really cool. Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher, Hearts of Darkness. Now this one here, I, th I think I have a few copies of. I don't know where the other one is, but I decided to go ahead, ahead and list this one in case I do find the other copies. I think I do have one in my personal collection as well. Next is Venom, the Madness, part one of three. This is issue one. That just looks amazing. Juggernaut in the Eye of Venom, that just looks really cool. And this is another one I'm on the hunt for my personal collection that I want part two and three as well, so I gotta start looking for those. Then we have some sealed comics, which I do have a few more for uh, X-Men and a few other ones that I just forgot to include in this video. So these ones here, it's not a complete set. Uh, I think it's missing Morbius issue one that's sealed. But this is Rise of the Midnight Suns. This is Night Stalkers issue one, sealed with the poster. These ones here I'm selling for about $20 each or a deal if somebody buys them all. Uh, Rise of the Midnight Suns, Ghost Rider and Blaze, Spirit of Vengeance issue one. Dark Hold issue one. All of them have the poster on the back. Ghost Rider 31. And Ghost Rider 28. So absolutely love these. I actually have a complete set 
uh, in my personal collection just to read. Some of them include the posters. I think Morbius issue one, it does not include the poster, but I decided because I wanted something in my personal collection that I can still read, I decided to go ahead and sell the sealed ones instead of looking for a sealed Morbius. That to me was just a better decision uh, to have ones that eventually I could read, but also keep in my personal collection. Next are amazing foil comics that I actually have a complete set in my uh, personal collection. This is Avengers 369, which that just looks amazing to me. A complete foil cover. Absolutely love it. This one here, I actually listed it for 15, but I did sell it for $10 along with the rest of the Avengers ones I'm going to be showing you guys here. So 363 looks really cool. Another one that sold for 10. Avengers 360, this is the bronze one, which I don't know, that just looks amazing to me with Vision on the front. And then you guys have the gold one, that is 366. The only one that is missing to have this complete set is the red West Coast Avengers, so it's a red foil. This looks really cool though. All of those did sell for $10, as well as War Machine number one. I think I have War Machine 1 to 6 in my personal collection, so this one here was a double, so I decided to finally list it. It's all of War Machine is foil. It's kind of hard to tell. Then we have X-Men issue 300 with the X-Men symbol in the back, which is kind of like a rainbow foil. Looks really cool. This one I already picked up a couple months ago for my personal collection, possibly on a deal on eBay, but then I ended up finding it in one of the lots that I did purchase to flip. We do have X-Men 2099 issue one. This one here, I might have a whole bunch of copies for. This one here, I think I only have it for $5 because I think it's only around five to $10. But uh, yeah, I already have this one in my personal collection as well. This one here, I recently just found uh, Avengers The Crossing. It's just a different kind of foil uh, comic on it. Really, really cool comic though. We have X-Men Alpha issue one. Again, a nice foil on it. A nice shine to it. Uh, this one here is Strafe's Strike File. Not really familiar with it, so I did, uh, sorry if I did uh, butcher it, but this is issue one. He kind of has a shine to it, that's why I included it in it. And then we have some nice hologram ones. So this is X-Factor 92. Looks amazing. I have a complete set of this in my personal collection. So these are just doubles that I did find in different lots that I did buy. Uh, we do have a second copy of that one. We have X-Force issue 25 as well. Looks really cool. Uh, we have X Uncanny X-Men 304. And we have X-Men 25. The only one we're missing for this set is Excalibur, I want to say 25, but I might be wrong. But I do have that one in my personal collection. So I have a complete set of this in my personal collection as well, but these are the doubles that I do have to sell. So these are the comics that I do have that are all foil, holographic ones, or other special ones that I decided to list them individually instead of putting them in my big lots that I usually do sell, or even putting them in mystery boxes just because I knew I'd get a little bit more money out of them as my typical boxes would get. Now in the future I will show you guys my personal collection of all the special foil comics which include Fantastic Four, Thor, uh, Incredible Hulk and a whole bunch of other ones that I didn't share in this video along with possibly some of the ones I did share like the Spider-Man, I have a complete set of that. Uh, Venom, uh, Lethal Protector, I do have a complete set of that which is amazing, I absolutely love that. And a complete set of this X-Men uh, set as well. So I'll show you guys that in the future but these are the ones that I do have to sell. Now I did sell I think six of them for 60 bucks so far and hopefully I will sell the rest hopefully fairly quick. But I'll leave this video here, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care, peace.